Okay, I think I've put enough of the underlayers down now to get onto an area that lots of people love doing, that's the eyes. So once again, I'm going to do a lot of this in real time. Again, some of the darks in first. And you can see, because I've got that um, gouache layer down, it's easy now for me to put the dark pastel on top and it gets very punchy with just a little bit of pastel on there so I haven't got to put a lot of darks down at all to get a real nice um, contrasty and punchy dark in there so I haven't got to push too hard either with a pencil my favorite pencils are either the Carbothello or the Pit they're both quite similar they're quite a hard pencil so they sharpen to a nice point quite easily. So I'm getting some of the darks in first, making sure I've got the shape correct. Shooting at a little bit of an angle so they may not look exactly the same as the reference, but it doesn't need to be exactly the same anyway. I've got a few pencils in my hand and I'll be swapping and changing and layering on top of each other and for anybody that knows or has seen my other videos you know I don't go giving out pencil numbers I don't like to demonstrate or teach that way it just creates I think more problems and you've got people then uh, trying to follow along in a paint by numbers fashion rather than learning how to select colors properly if you're a complete complete beginner and you want to try out pastels for the first time I've got a tiger for the complete beginner where I list the exact number of pencils I use I tell you when I'm using them and that's specifically so beginners can buy a very limited amount of supplies they know they can do the whole project with it and then they can tell whether or not they enjoy pastels and if they want to uh, get a larger set and really get um, into pastels in a bigger way but it'll allow them to try it out for the the cheapest way possible cheapest amount possible so they know they can have a good go so that's the tiger for complete beginners in pastel video and you can get that on patreon and also on my website so I'm just building up some colors need to go a bit lighter in this area don't forget because we can layer with pastels I can then darken areas that needs to go darker because obviously the area around the sides of the pupil need to go a darker brown but because as I mentioned we can layer with pastels that's easily rectified so I haven't got to be perfect straight off at all which is means it's um, a lot, lot less pressure on you to get things uh, right straight away. I can keep adjusting until I'm really happy with it. And don't forget, we can, as the artist, we can punch the colors up a bit and change them slightly to create what we think would be a better um, result than perhaps a photograph. Once again, I'm just gonna speed this section up a bit so you can see it develop a little bit quicker. Just wanted to quickly mention my Patreon channel for those looking for even more in-depth art instruction. It's packed full of pastel videos, oil videos as well, and those videos are being added to new ones every single month. I have videos for the complete beginner that have never done 
pastels or oils before with just limited supplies and I take you from the very first blocking in all the way through to the final detailed drawings and paintings. I've also got some really unusual subjects as well and in all of my videos I always take you through all the details you see everything I do how I create my work but it's not just for beginners it's also for novices and I also show the best artwork that I've ever done as well and this particular elephant video spans six hours so you know you're going to see tons and tons of details tips and techniques and as mentioned I've got lots of oil videos on there too so there really is something for everybody and you get access to hundreds of hours worth of videos for just four dollars now over a thousand members strong hope to see you there soon okay so that's all blended in looks pretty good as a first layer now quite important I'm getting some blue in this corner so that's reflecting um, the blue of the sky into the eye and putting a bit of blue near the highlight or next to the highlight usually makes the eye look that bit more real and it's only when we get that highlight in don't forget that we'll start to get that glassy appearance I'm just dotting a bit of that blue in creating a fairly vibrant At the dark of the pupil I'll come back and refine this later let's just get the basic shape in there for now Need a bit more dark around the top as well and down this side and then once I've done the dark so I'll come back in and I've put a few of the highlights on just so it's got that a bit of a glassy look but I will come back and refine this a bit more and I could if I want keep all the the clean bright highlights until the end but I like to actually get an area fairly um, not finished but brought along a bit further like the eye just so that as you'll see when I put in just a few of these dots it's got a bit more realism to it You go a bit darker under here and then I'll pop a few more of these highlights it's just a light gray it's not a white that I'm using yet And already with just a few of those touches start to look a lot more glassy just put a few more dots of that blue on as well so that's that's the one I three quarters done I'll come back to it I'll refine it at the end uh, as I mentioned but that's not too bad for a start eyes look quite complicated but if you follow a few of the principles and really follow your reference photo they're one of the easier parts even though they look quite dramatic they are uh, one of the easier things to get correct and to get impressive looking and I just punch that white up a bit more just make it a little bit glassy again and now I've got that one finished I'll move on to the other one exactly the same technique So I hope you've enjoyed this short video. As I mentioned, I've got a full video on this over two hours long on my Patreon art channel. And there's hundreds and hundreds of hours of other 
videos on there, both pastel, oils, also a little bit of colored pencil, graphite as well. So if you're looking to improve your wildlife art or perhaps do pet portraits, dogs, cats, anything animal wise, I hope uh, you find that of interest. Got way over a thousand members there now. So hope to see you there real soon. If you're looking for even more great art sources, I've really got you covered. First off, I've got a Patreon channel. It's been going well over a year or so, packed with around about 50 or more videos and new ones every month. Lots of the videos are uh, many hours long, so you can see they're really, really in-depth. Subjects such as um, turtles, birds, elephants, big cats, you name it, it's on there. So that's my Patreon channel. And also on that Patreon channel, before I go on to something else, I've got a secret Facebook group. So only the members are actually on there. It's the most supportive and friendly Facebook group that I've ever seen. I know I'm biased, but it really is. We've got uh, four or 500 members on there and they all help each other. So that's a great added bonus that comes free with it. Also you get line art every month as well and we've just designed a brand new companion website for it so if you've joined other patrons and uh, channels and you found it very very difficult to navigate around we've got this free website that comes with it all the videos are now just a single click away couldn't be any easier than it is i've also got my site jasonmorgan.co.uk lots of tutorial videos dvd discs and downloads on there and if you're struggling for reference photos for your art projects, I've got some of those too. I've got 900 plus on my website, wildlifeart-online.com. And they will be copyright free for you. So you can paint and draw from them and sell your work with no copyright worries whatsoever. So hope you like those extra resources and I'll see you all again real soon.